So the purpose of this video is to discuss ways to get the cleanest signal output as a reference clock from a GPS unit like this Ublox Neo M8N that I'm holding here. And uh, if you've ever tried to um, get a clean signal out of it, uh, at say for example 10 megahertz, you'll notice that you'll get all this jitter. And the reason for the jitter is that there's an internal clock and some software within this device. The clock runs at 24 megahertz, and it's only able to provide frequencies that divide evenly into the 24 megahertz. So frequencies like 1 megahertz, 2, 4, even 3, um, 6, 8, 12, and 24 megahertz will all give you a nice, clean, jitter-free frequency. Um, this is, as you can see here, uh, trying to output 10 megahertz, and what it's doing is it's combining frequencies at 12 megahertz, which it can produce, that's one that divides evenly into 24 megahertz, and 8 megahertz, which also divides evenly into 24 megahertz. So it's combining the signals, combining 12 megahertz and 8 megahertz waveforms in order to squeeze in uh, 10 million or 10 megahertz per second 10 million signals per second that's why you've got the jitter because it's not able to produce um, waveforms that have a wavelength that are um, not exact multiples of the 24 megahertz wavelengths um, so if i were to switch this i'm using the u center software over here which you're probably familiar with if you tried to do this and this is the software you use to try to set up the different frequencies. And in this box up here, you can change the frequency. So I'm gonna just change this to um, eight megahertz and send that to the GPS unit. And we'll come back on the scope. And you can see no more jitter. You've got a nice steady eight megahertz and uh, the count there on the scope you can see you're getting a nice clean eight megahertz 7.99999 uh, the counter is showing um, the other thing to note is the way that I have this connected um, I'm taking the output and I'm sending it through a DC block and then through 50 ohms let's see the 50 ohm terminator um, and that combination produces the cleanest square wave uh, forms that you'd want to use as a clock input to, say, some signal generator. Um, and I've used this for this uh, Max 2870 device that I got on, uh, on uh, AliExpress to feed this exact signal into here, setting up the device for a 12 megahertz let me change it over here and um, U center to 12 megahertz. There's 12 megahertz. And um, I set up this device to expect 12 megahertz as the clock input signal, also running it through DC block and a 50 ohm terminator into here. And that enables this device to produce very precise uh, waveforms. This is a pretty inexpensive signal generator. So um, the key is to choose a signal or a frequency uh, that divides evenly into the 24 megahertz and um, go through a DC block, which is traditionally used to um, keep the uh, input side of the reference inputs on signal generators safe from DC offset voltages and through 50 ohms. If I were to remove this 50 ohm terminator, Let's just take a look at that real quick. You'll see that um, you still get the same 12 megahertz, but um, you do get some overshoot and undershoot. So uh, it seems like the cleanest way to produce a nice square wave output um, for your reference signals from the GPS units, the U-Blox GPS units using U-Center software is to choose the right frequencies that divide evenly into 24 megahertz, go through a DC block, and go through 50 ohm terminator, and 
you'll get a nice clean square wave with no jitter. All right, thanks for watching.